Truth and justice are not standing for Donald Trump. Truth and justice aren't standing for Joe Biden. Truth and justice stand for truth and justice. These are standards that need to be upheld. These are standards that, that Trump and Biden need to be held to. They are not simply inherent aspects of your favorite political party. Then love truth, not Trump. Love justice, not Biden. So you know by now, late last week, Donald Trump was convicted on 34, yes, 34 different counts of falsifying business records, which is a felony under New York law. Now, the Democrats believe that justice was served. The Republicans believe that the judicial system has been taken over by the Democrats, specifically Joe Biden, to go after his political opponents. Now sit back and relax because in this episode, we're probably going to upset both sides. But first off, welcome to Christosophy, everybody. This is the show where we talk about relevant topics and shine light into the darkest of places and spaces. This is the show that most people won't enjoy. Uh, why is that? Because I'm finding people just don't enjoy truth anymore. They prefer tribalism. You know, truth has gone out of style. Truth is not trendy. But this show is for the folks who still want truth anyway. So let's dive in. It's YouTube. So like, subscribe, click the bell. Um, if you want to support this channel, I've got new Fight Evil merch. I'll leave the link down in the description below. You can check that out. It's a fun way to support the channel. So Donald Trump is now officially a criminal. He's, he's a convicted felon. He will always be for the rest of his life. It's pretty much a done deal. Um, now, I think anybody who's even being remotely reasonable will agree that crime should be punished, okay? On both sides, Republican and Democrat, crime should be punished. But it should be in accordance with what is precedented for that specific crime. And by the looks of what he's been, not just charged, but now convicted of, uh, ain't no way he's serving four years, right? I think these charges uh, carry a maximum sentence of four years. Uh, but because of his age, because of the fact that he's a first-time offender, because of the fact that it's a nonviolent crime, it's very, very unlikely that he'll spend jail time. Now, in terms of the specifics of the charges, this has to do with about $130,000 payment that was made out to Stormy Daniels that was falsely categorized in the business expenses when Trump was doing his taxes or whatever. And basically, they were saying that Trump did that on purpose to hide the fact that he had paid some hush money and that they didn't tell the government about it. Now, I'm not saying this is the right thing to do, but it's like if you were trying to hide that hush money was being paid, why would you then just put it out there that hush money was being paid? You know what I'm saying? But hey, that's wrong all around. So I, I may have upset people on the right already, but here's where I'm going to upset the left. Do we really believe as a nation, okay, that Donald Trump, out of all American history, is the first president to commit a felony crime. I'm not saying that he is not. I'm not saying he is either. Me personally, this is just my personal opinion. I think the chances are very low, okay? I think the chances are very low that Donald Trump is the first president to ever commit a felony crime. He is, however, now the first president to be convicted. And this is interesting because I haven't heard a real honest answer to this. You know, I hear chants of lock him up, of we got him, and people proud that justice was served, right? But are we proud that we got justice? Or are we proud that we got Trump in particular? Let's test the theory. I've heard, okay, of a certain laptop that has been verified by many left and right sources, okay, as being authentic, that apparently contain some very nasty secrets that implicate the current president into potentially treasonous activity, which would also be a crime, okay? Are, are we interested in seeing Trump and Biden both go to jail? Fraud, treason, they both seem criminal to me. Is any, anybody for that? Anybody for justice? Anybody for truth about these things? Now, just to be transparent, there is a lawsuit potentially brewing um, where Hunter Biden, Joe's son, will be brought up on gun charges, okay, where the laptop may be used as evidence. And there are a million videos you can go look at about the other things that the laptop potentially contains. But I, I, I think just as much as it would be worth it to look into Trump's past and the things he may have done, you know, I, th I think it's worth looking into Biden's past as well, for justice sake. I mean, look, folks, truth and justice are not standing for Donald Trump. Truth and justice aren't standing for Joe Biden. Truth and justice stand for truth and justice. These are standards that need to be upheld. These are standards that, that Trump and Biden need to be held to. 
They are not simply inherent aspects of your favorite political party. If you care about your fellow neighbor, then love truth, not Trump. Love justice, not Biden. And love them both according to their adherence to truth and justice and their ability and willingness to apply it equally to everyone. And that's what people just don't seem to want to hear. Now, look, I understand I'm probably crazy. I'm trying to run a YouTube channel based off of opinions that nobody wants to hear, right? Where's my fan base? But I still think it's important uh, to speak these things out, whether people are here to hear it or not. So listen, and I do think there are some of you out there who are just as crazy as I am. So if you want to support this channel, like I said, I've got merch, the Fight Evil merch. It's not just a logo. It's not about me. It's not about my brand. Fight Evil. That's something that everybody, I think, can commit to. The shirts are down there. I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and check that out. It's a place where you can support the channel as well. Also, you know the basics of YouTube. Like, subscribe, or if you're on X, because now my videos go on X as well, like, subscribe, or follow and click the bell so that you can be notified when I drop new episodes like this, folks, as we continue to fight evil.